Hi everyone, Matt here. In this next set of videos we are going to be taking a look at assembly drawings and in this first video we're going to be looking at what assembly drawings are and why we produce them. Assembly drawings are a bit different to detailed drawings and the main purpose of an assembly drawing is to show how multiple components assemble in their working relationships. There are several different ways these drawings can be used to achieve different purposes and we're going to go through some of these purposes now. So the first is to show how to assemble parts. So we've got here a sheet of drawings and we have six different drawings or parts represented on this drawing which are representing a device called a clamping device. Now if I was to give you each of these parts how would you know how to put them together? From this drawing it's not possible to tell how they all go together. So what we do is we would produce our drawing like this one here. So we have each of the different parts which are the same parts represented on the left hand sheet here. However from this view we now have them all in their working relationships and there's enough information then to put the entire assembly together. So another purpose is to provide a complete list of all the parts needed required to assemble something. So we have a drawing here with five different views and it's showing how all these and you can see it's got a big range of parts that comprise this overall object and we've got down the bottom here a parts list and what you can see from here is this bottom part of the list here is all manufactured parts so these are all things that are based off other detailed drawings and we've got here drawing numbers down here so this is why when doing our detailed drawings it's important to add a drawing number so we can reference our drawings later in these assembly drawings. Now in the top portion of our list of materials and parts we have purchased parts so these are just standard parts so we've got uh, screws, hex screws, um, dowel, lock nuts and these are just things so we don't have a drawing number because these are things that are commonly available you know you could go down to your hardware store and buy them. What we do have though is a material. Now we don't have necessarily have materials for our manufactured parts because some of these could be multi-component parts made out of several different materials. But as for our purchase parts you can see here we've got HTS so that stands for high tensile steel and for our nut here we've got mild steel MS. So the next thing is Sometimes assembly drawings are used to provide designers with information on assemblies. So take for instance a catalogue that is showing an electric motor. So you might see something like this in the catalogue. It's an assembly drawing because it's got lots of different parts put together in one but as you can see it's got dimensions on it. Neither of the other two drawings we looked at had dimensions and that's because they weren't needed to assemble the objects. And you might note here that this is not actually drawn to Australian standards, this is a Swiss part so it's got a European standard on it. But as you can see the purpose of this drawing is to provide someone who is designing with it an idea of the overall size, the location of certain things such as the threaded holes and the mounting bracket and that sort of thing. So that's another use for assembly drawings. So another use for possibly doing an assembly drawing is to show how to disassemble a machine. So this is something you might find in a handbook or a guide on say working with your car or you know these are similar also similar to things you might find in Lego kits and something like that so they're designed to be looked at by people who are not engineers who do not know how to read orthogonal and detailed drawings so they're generally 
quick, easy to look at, show how things go together. However, producing them would generally be quite a bit of work. As far as we're concerned, the main reasons we are doing these assembly drawings is for the first two purposes that I put up. So to show how to assemble parts and to provide a complete list of parts needed. In the next video, we're going to look at the information we need to put on our assembly drawings.